to my Pamper Jeff kitchen. Um, I say that because I have so many Pamper Jeff tools and I just wanted to welcome you into the kitchen tonight and show you a quick way to get dinner on the table. I've done some prep steps so that you don't have to watch me do everything, you know, a whole bunch of times. Um, but what I've done is on the stove, I've started a little bit of olive oil heating in my 12 inch skillet and in my 10 inch skillet. I love my skillets, I use them constantly. And the really cool thing about them is nothing sticks to them, so they're super easy to clean up. Um, and the skillets uh, also, not only are they safe on the stove top, but they're also safe in the oven, which is great because I can start something on the stove top and then move it to the oven if I need to. So tonight we're doing turkey cutlets and um, what I've done is I started, um, I seasoned one side of them and I'm getting ready to um, coat them. So I'll show you how, what I'm doing with that. I'm going to move this one kind of on top of this one here and I don't really have enough um, of the panko there so I'm going to put some more in and uh, I'm going to move this. I sprayed it with some oil because then that acts as a platform for the seasoning and then I'll let that uh, soak in there. So then we're going to put some salt and pepper on and I'm using um, the salt and pepper grinder set here which I absolutely love. It is a great um, tool and a beautiful Christmas gift too. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I did not spray this one with oil yet. I forgot that I hadn't done that. So we're going to just use our kitchen spritzer and spray that down with a little bit of oil so that our panko will go ahead and stick there. So got this here. I'm going to just pour a little bit more over the top and then uh, I've got my pan over here ready. So, and I'm using our tongs here. I really, really like our um, chef's tongs. These are the small ones and I do use them. They're pretty awesome to help out in the kitchen when you have to do touching, you know, raw meats and things like that. So, this has been sprayed on the one side and we're going to go ahead and put that, actually I'm going to put some more uh, breadcrumbs in there. And I chose the panko because it's nice and um, crunchy, which is what my family likes. So we're going to spritz that again. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper. And I already added Italian seasoning to the other side. That's our Pamper Chef Italian seasoning. So I'm going to put some more panko on there. Okay. And we have one more to do. So we'll get that done real quick here. And all right. Spritz it down. I love my kitchen spritzer. I use that with our popcorn pepper too and it lets me uh, add a little bit of salt and it lets it stick and it's not near as uh, fattening as uh, cooking your popcorn in the oil. So, okay, so we're good to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this. This is part of our um, dipping tray set. Uh, so I've already heated up my pan and I'm just going to go ahead and set this in here. Just going to do three right now and then we'll do the other two in a little bit. And we'll just get those going. And then this, we have um, this is zucchini, summer squash, and carrots. I'm going to tell you how I did this. But this is done um, here. And I chose to use a 12 inch skillet for this because I want it to be able to spread out and brown those vegetables and cook them really pretty. I have Italian seasoning on this too, so I kind of match the seasoning um, between our vegetables 
and the meat tonight. So what I did is I used the um, batter bowl. I also like the stainless steel small mixing bowl. I use that a lot. And I used this, I've already washed it, but um, I used this to do the carrots. You saw they were like in little strips, but you could use it for potatoes or zucchini, all kinds of different things. Um, this is the um, veggie strip maker. The other thing is really important to have is a really good knife in the kitchen. And so this is a Santoku knife, but we also have um, a lot of other types of knives. The one thing is that when you're working in your kitchen, if you don't have a really good knife, it's really um, difficult to enjoy being in your kitchen because it's really hard to do a lot of the jobs that you need to do. But I wanted to show you a, a knife skill. Uh, when you have a big knife like this, you want to make an L for leverage. Put your thumb here and your finger here. Wrap your three fingers around like that. And the knife ends up being an extension of your arm. It's much easier to work and cut and do what you're doing with it. So, um, stay, can you stay in one spot? Okay. And so, um, then the other thing that I like to use a lot is this is the, um, the quick slice. And it's great for like zucchini or the summer squash. You just line them up and you just kind of just slice them right down. So that makes it really easy to use. That. You can use it for tomatoes, you can use it for mushrooms, you can use it for strawberries, all kinds of different tools, set, or different vegetables and fruits like that. Um, don't use it for onion or potato, it's a little, those are a little hard. I would use a simple slicer for those. Um, so, I just wanted to kind of welcome you into the kitchen, show you how to get dinner on the table super quick. We're going to go ahead and use um, one of our specialists here to go ahead and just move this around. Um, and get it cooking. Oh man, I wish you could smell this. It smells fabulous. Look at that, all that uh, Italian seasoning working there. And so we are just moving that around a little bit and then we're gonna let it sit. And then we have um, our pan coat here and I'm gonna use the chef's tongue. And I'm just gonna go ahead and reach under here and Turn this around. Can you see how quickly and beautifully this is cooking up? So that's how easy that is to do. It's very quick. It's very simple to get dinner on the table. Um, requires just a little bit of prep time, and um, and then I have some blueberry muffins here that I'm storing in our. Uh, leak-proof glass containers. I use these a lot. If you don't have these, they might be something you want to consider. They're great Christmas gifts, too. You can um, fill them with cookies or things like this. These are our blueberry um, muffins with the almond topping, and those are dessert tonight. So, I just wanted to kind of, like I said, invite you into the kitchen, show you a quick and easy dinner tip, and um, hopefully this will help you get dinner on the table. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.